My name's Matt Cox. Both my son and I are diabetic. I've been diabetic now for uh, almost 26 years. And Jack, how long have you been diabetic? Um, six? Six, six years. <laughs> and we're both treated using the Animas pump. I have the Vibe, and what do you have? You've got the Animas IR 2020, haven't you? <laughs> I'm in the building trade so I'm active all day long. I used to inject insulin four times a day but uh, now with the with the pump I um, I don't inject at all. The Animas pump, the way that that works is that it, uh, it drip feeds you um, very very small amounts of insulin throughout the whole of the day. So you tend to get a more average glucose reading. So I concentrate less now than I ever had with regards to sugar levels and what have you because I know that the pump's got my back. Done. We're here today at Dover, the White Cliffs of Dover actually, very iconic place in the UK. This is actually the point where we set off on a, a cross-channel swim challenge, three diabetics and three non-diabetics. We swam from here to Calais, it took us 13 hours and 26 minutes. The whole event was organised by Animas in the UK. Right, which way is the wind blowing? So I try to instil in Jack that challenges are out there, but the challenges aren't made any more difficult because you're a type 1 diabetic. I initially got in the water thinking I, I could swim, I could swim, I'm, I'm fine, I've trained for this. But when I was in the middle of the ocean with a swell that sort of blacked out the boat now and again, I kind of uh, panicked a little bit. It was rough. As a type 1 diabetic, I'm not going to be held back by the condition. I still made distance, so I was proud of the achievement. This was a challenge, it's a massive challenge. A great pride that I can actually say to my son, look at what your dad's done. You can go on and, and achieve whatever you put your mind to. What should I do next? Everest? We've done it, we've done it in water, well, let's, let's do it on land.